What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going on a trip tomorrow, so I was thinking I might as well make another what's in my camera bag video. I made one last year, but I have a pretty big different setup right now, so I'm gonna show you guys, and yeah, let's get into it. So, as a sports photographer, obviously got my big lens first, so right here, the 1-400, this lens is amazing. It's not the fastest, it's the 4.5 to 5.6. Um, but it's a 1 to 400 where the new RF ones cost like, oh my gosh, I don't even know, like 2 to like 5,000 or even if you're going like to 2.8, it costs like $8,000. So I'm like, this one's great for right now. I do want to get it clean because there's some like stuff in it, but it kind of is what it is. Obviously, I have my R5, which is what I'm filming on uh, with a 24 to 70. Something new that I just got is this little light. And this is super cool for like media stuff and you can change the color on your phone. Like, or even on this, but super useful um, for like media day stuff. So really like that as well. Also have this, which is a 1.8. It was like a $200 lens, just like kind of slap on for like more media day or like low light stuff, which works out really well. So this is kind of like the layout of my backpack. Camera goes here obviously, and then mic goes up top. I like to have the mic just to shoot like sound or stuff in a game too or if I'm shooting video. I had this. I saw this in like a video when I started doing photography and I've used it ever since and it just holds like batteries, stuff like that. And also, these little ties right here. Oh, um, these ties are amazing. Let me see if I can get to focus on one of these. But these things like I use for everything. I even use them just like for having everything stay organized under my desk. So, would definitely recommend those. I have like a bag and it was like, I think it was like eight bucks for like 20 of them. So, super useful. And obviously, I do surf photography. So I have Aquatech housing, I've had two of these. Love Aquatech, had this with my other camera, Canon 70D, which is also my backup. So I also bring that um, mostly everywhere, especially if I'm getting paid, just cause you don't want your camera to fail or whatever when you're not there, because that would be really bad. And thankfully, this camera still has, or this lens still has like the normal mount, so I just have my mount actually for my R5, so it still works with my Canon 70D, which the new like RF ones wouldn't really, unless I get a new one. So this is this. This thing is amazing. I just got this backplate actually with these controls, and it is such a good housing. It is amazing. Use this thing so much at school. Um, definitely, if you guys are looking into getting surf photography, check out these. They're expensive. I think this was like a thousand dollars, but it is totally worth it. Your camera is totally protected. I've only had it leak, I think, once, and that was because it was totally my fault. So, would definitely recommend this. But yeah, and I also another thing. I always have this in here, a Peak Design strap. So like, obviously if you're shooting for a while, you don't just want to be carrying your camera around or else you're going to be hurting for a while. And another thing that I have that I recently got is a monopod. So a monopod, super useful for video, photo, but for like basketball and stuff or like even soccer, I'll be more on the ground. So this helps a lot. So I don't have to carry the camera all the time and it helps stabilize shots too. So that is super helpful. Um, yeah, definitely a must. And then on my camera, I didn't say this, was the new microphone. It's a Rode Mic Pro. Um, that is super amazing, super useful. And then in here, I don't know if you guys saw this, but it has the little pouch right here with the SD card. So I've gone to shoots and I've like forgot my SD card. So always like stash, and this is like actually made for this. It literally says like SD on it. It's just a little pouch, so like if you forget it, you always have one in there, which is super useful. Always have a ton of microfiber cloths. I recently just bought a pack with like 50 of these, and they are so useful because you always want a bunch. Like for games, I'll have like two or three in my pocket. Always want a bunch of those, don't want to lose those. And then in the pocket right here, I have hard drive. You always want to have an external hard drive. Super useful. Especially because with my Mac, I can't, like, you can't upgrade it, so you kind of, like, kind of is what it is, but 
Love the Mac. And then I have a bunch of dongles, obviously. Let's see. Then I have a little case with all the cards in it. Don't have that many, but really useful. It's waterproof too, so I don't have to worry about that. And then recently got an iPad. It's an iPad Air. And it's super useful for like writing stuff down, like ideas for content or like drawing stuff out for ideas or even like editing in Lightroom and stuff with the slider. So that's also super useful. And I'll show you guys my little desk setup as well because recently got some new stuff for it. So let's see. So I have this little desk setup. So I recently got this because my laptop, which is right here, I broke the screen so I can't use it as a laptop. So unfortunately, I won't be bringing on my trip, but I'll be bringing this and then my phone so that I can like upload the photos still and still edit some while I'm there. I love this mouse. It's like a Logic MX Master 2S. It's a little expensive, but I use it all the time. Got a little speaker right here and then obviously got a monitor because of my laptop, but the monitor is huge for editing. Would definitely recommend if you're a photographer, a videographer, or even like in school to get a monitor, even if it's like a little more expensive, because I think this one was like 200 bucks, but it's totally worth it. And yeah, that's about it for my gear. But if you have any questions about my gear, let me know. I can make some more videos talking about it more in depth. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Hit the like button. I know a lot of you guys aren't subscribed, so subscribe down below. Thanks for watching. See you next video.